Last month, we were blessed enough to go on a nine-day shoot across Sarawa, seeing the raw parts of her beauty, and hopefully creating a video that would show her true essence. This is me, with my brother, and Anton. <laughs> we're in Kuching Airport right now, we're about to head off to Miri to start off our project. So we're going to be flying around Basie Sarawa and shooting uh, this project. Thank you for choosing Asia. And Yo, yo, so we've arrived at the first location, which is a beautiful little temple behind you. We have our amazing actress here <laughs> and our amazing actor here. And um, yeah, we're going to be filming a little bit here, then we're going to go to Tucson Cliff afterwards. We then drove 30 minutes down the coastline to Tucson Cliff where we would catch the sunset. Yo! This filmmaking thing's no joke, you know? Vlogging and making a film. Hmm! I take that. This is what I've been waiting for. Manifested this. Let's get this thing done. There's a guy. Wave! Anton was doing a magic, magic job and just it. Just decided to do an emergency landing right in the seawater. <laughs> right there. We're we'll leaving a bag of rice. Alright, and all the Asians will come and fix it. Yo, I'm passing out right now. Day one, that's just day one. We have five more days left. Anton's looking for some rice so they can put his drone inside <laughs> just to dry it out. <laughs> but I shouldn't be laughing. Day one was a killer for sure, but little did I know that day two would bring its own problems. 5 a.m. Psych up, psych up. <laughs> we made our way to Nia National Park, a three hour drive, only to realize that we'd taken the wrong turn and brought our fridge on wheels really off roading. How the How? Looking back on the footage now, it doesn't look bad at all, but it was honestly sh Yeah, that happened. When life gives you a 1.5 kilometer walk through the jungle, what do you do, Nick? <laughs> Day five and we've lost Anton. We saw him touching millipedes and maybe, maybe he's been consumed by them. Basically. We don't know. Well, hello there. I'm feeling like poo because I haven't eaten, but at the same time, we have a lot of shit to film. Yeah, I haven't even had an oat biscuit. I'm running on fumes. And mosquito blood. done shooting the first cave, we're gonna head on to the second one. Problem is, it's so dark. What is this? Oh, this is easily one of the top five things I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. What's happening next? Day three of the shoot. We're gonna to go to the airport, Miri Airport, and we're gonna to fly to Molo Caves. Anton Ski's here. Good morning. This is actually really excited. Didn't sound excited then. Good morning, guys! That's how you have to be if you're my team. 
We'd successfully lost our number plate during the off-road excursion and waited for our 30-minute flight to Mulu National Park. Can to explain to me what we're doing, Nico? Day one of the trek, we're finally getting on our way to the mountain. We set out for the Pinnacles, but before we started our trek, we would need to take a boat trip to some beautiful villages, caves and spring waters. driving to the start of our hike to camp five it's called where it's the sort of base camp before you walk up to the pinnacles the river level is really low so we have to basically hike and push the boat through the river i've stuck all my camera equipment except for this camera the vlogging camera into a dry bag We arrived at camp five. Tell us the plan. A plan? Mm. The plan is swimming after this. Yes, you there's are. a river right there we're gonna get in. Whilst we were in the cool river waters thinking we had made it, we had no idea that tomorrow would bring nine long hours of hiking up to the pinnacles, back down again, and then back to base camp. Watch this. It's 4.45 a.m. We just woke it up. We have to start our ascent to the uh, pinnacles. And Serge is getting ready. <laughs> He's getting some heat into the body. <laughs> We're 800 meters up. Wow, zoomed in on my face. We're gonna get to the uh, pinnacles in what? An hour? Hour and a half? Ah, uh, from here more or less, yeah. yeah. We have made it to Lada Satu. No, it's good. We've only got 45 minutes to film until we have to start heading back. Six of the shoot. What are we going to do today, ma'am? Oh, of course, we are going to do a uh, deer cave and land cave shoot today. I'm going to film this, uh, this sequence here, this massive, to get some depth, get some height.
my mum's hometown and we're gonna basically shoot the night markets here in the Pasamala. Okay, welcome to Pasamalam where we're gonna go something something ping. Anyways, look at this stuff. You can get yourself a get yourself a jack an adapter, you can get yourself some socks, you can get yourself some elastic thingies. Anything you want is in Pasamalam time. So we're in Cebu, we've got to Cebu Airport for our flight at 805 and yeah, hopefully we're gonna have a safe trip back, get my luggage out. What are you doing? What We're back in Kuching, making our way to the hotel after a long and luxurious five days. I'm tired. We then travelled to Janka Waterfalls on the west side of Sarawa, a place that was raw and beautiful in its own way. For the final day we head to Bako National Park where we'd chill at the beach and appreciate everything that had happened over the past nine days.